All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to our Over Under show, sponsored by Monkey Knife Fight. I'm feeling the bug, y'all. Football is back. I'm happy to be joined by Sean Green for his second appearance. Uh, he can't stay away. Sean, you want to tell the folks what you've been working on and where they can find you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a co-host of the Sports Gambling Podcast. We uh, we got our app live in the uh, App Store SGPN, and we're doing a contest trying to give away $100,000 NFL Week 1. Ooh. Free to enter, and if you go undefeated, you win one hundred thousand dollars. Pretty crazy. You can only enter it in the app, so that's what I'm. That's what I'm telling people. And we got you covered. NFL picks, uh, college football. Already hit a couple of college bets this week, so we're just we're just cashing checks over here. That's quite the return. Free to hundred k. Yeah, that's that, how you do it right that's there. That's a great investment. You literally, and it'll take you less than two minutes for a chance to win a hundred thousand dollars. They're not giving away free lottery tickets. You go into Seven Eleven, they go a couple bucks. That's All we right. want is for you guys to download the app, and uh, the app's free, so uh, you have really have nothing to lose. All right, so that's all the more reason to download the app. Support our boy Sean here. Support yourself. Get some of this money, and let's get into our NFL show. So, all the lines we'll be talking about today are brought to you by Monkey Knife Fight. Make sure to sign up and deposit using code Triple Play. You'll get us paid and you'll, your deposit will be matched up to $100. So you can tune in to us every week to help you flip that. Uh, make sure to check out Kevin's College Football Monkey Knife Fight over under recommendations as well on YouTube or on our Twitter. So let's get into it. So uh, we're going to start with Monkey Knife Fight's more or less game. So uh, if you get both right, you multiply your bet by three times. So we have Tom Brady over under 300.5 yards and Dak Prescott over under 285.5 yards. So, Sean, how are you feeling about this one? Yeah, I mean, Brady's kind of interesting in the uh, in the playoffs. He only went over 300 yards once, but four out of the last five regular season games, he, he hit that by a uh, by a pretty nice margin. I'm taking the over. It, it's a it's a twofold bet here. One, I, I think Brady. Uh, shows up in prime time. You, you see teams coming off winning the Super Bowl and and really having great games at home. I think also there's just there's a ton of holes in this Cowboys defense. I mean they yeah they brought in uh, yeah. like a Parsons first round pick who should be good, but other than that there's a lot of holes in that secondary. I, I just think the second third receivers for the Bucks are just going to be a matchup nightmare for the Cowboys, I think they're going to have trouble uh, stopping them. Again, I'm a biased Eagles fan, but I, I think Brady throws for over 300. Okay, that makes sense there. And how about Dak? Dak, I'm going the other way. Again, I'm an Eagles fan, but <laughs> Dak to me, Dak came off. I mean, we all saw that injury he had, uh, and actually we didn't see it because they blurred it. It was that yeah. bad of an injury. And then he's he's rehabbing. He had two surgeries in the offseason. Then he comes back, and then he he, uh, he uh, strains his lat, kind of overcompensating for that ankle injury. He got no preseason work. Now he's going on the road in a hostile environment against the Tampa Bay Bucks defense that really wrecked shop against the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep. Uh, so uh, and now there's uh, there's a, another offensive lineman that looks to be out for the Cowboys. I think they're going to really struggle on offense. And uh, again, Dak had no preseason work. He maybe maybe he figures it out later in the season. But I think starting cold, coming off that injury, and the first team you have to play is the Super Bowl champs on the road. That is a tough spot. So we're going to have bragging rights between the two of us. I, I think all your analysis makes a lot of sense. But I'm actually fl flipped with you. Okay. Um, so for me, you know, Vegas has the total at 51 and a half for the game, which is high, generally speaking. Yeah. Um, the likely game script for me is that, you know, that Bucks defense that's returning all their starters, they're going to be able to hold the Cowboys in check early and Dak get as Dak gets back in the swing of things. Um, I think the Bucks take an early lead and kind of pound the ball running in the second half. So I'm taking a Brady under on the 300 yards. And then I think Dak's going to be forced to air it out late, which will force like some some garbage time yards and some garbage time points. So I'm thinking Dak gets that over. Yeah, no, I mean, that's not a bad uh, angle, certainly. And and it kind of, you saw that formula of, of them pounding the rock, the Bucks in the playoffs. It'll kind of be interesting if they play that style or the style they seem to play at the end of the regular season where they were passing a bunch. And you're right. If, if Tampa Bay gets up big, it's easy to get those garbage passing yards. Yeah, yeah. That's, 
I don't know. It's it's just there's something about Ben and Andy that just <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to watch and it's hard to root for. So um, there's a good chance that they both they both might take the over there. So we'll see how that plays out. So let's move over to our over under 15x multiplier. This one's a lot harder, which is why you get more if you get it right. Um, if you get five out of five correct, you're gonna multiply your bet by 15 times. So we already discussed the Brady and Dak lines, which are part of this. Um, there are also three others. So we have um, Amari Cooper over and under over or under five and a half catches. We have Zeke over or under 60.5 rushing yards and CD Lamb over or under 60.5 receiving yards. Sean, what are you thinking for these other three? Okay, yeah. So Amari Cooper, he's interesting. He's still been been dealing with some injury issues. And again, no, you know, no uh, preseason chemistry with Dak, I think is going to hurt him. I'm going to go under on Amari Cooper. uh, Zeke being at 60 and a half, that is that is really low. I mean, I I do like the matchup for the Bucks and their their front four against that Cowboys offensive line. But I think Zeke is going to get this just off the the amount of carries he gets so i i think they're going to give him 20 plus carries and even if he you can have a bad game but with 20 plus carries you're getting to 60 and a half rushing yards that's too low and cd lamb he's he's the guy that i think of the of the cowboy skill positions probably has the has the uh i, I think he's the most athletic and most dynamic I, I think he's in store for a big year so i go i go over on cd lamb as well yeah, I think I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, we're flipped again on everything but CD Lamb. So, <laughs> <laughs> following the game the game script that I think might play yeah. out, you know, I think Amari gets comfortably over that five and a half catches line when we're talking, you know, garbage time throws yeah. and garbage time points. So, as for Zeke, you know, he actually had eight games last year that were under sixty yards, and this is a rough defense to go up against. You know, I agree with you. If he's going to get twenty carries, he's going to smash that over. But I think if if how this plays out is that the Bucks take an early lead and pound the rock and you know we have to we have to have a lot of throwing in the in the second half. I think it makes sense for him to go under. So I'm taking the under there. Um that pains me because I'm expecting a great year from Zeke this year, but I'm taking the under on Zeke rushing yards and as for Lamb, uh, I think we're both we're both locked in on that one. I'm going to take the over on receiving yards. I think Dak's really going to have the ability to spread it around. I think he's going to knock off that rust fairly quickly. I think they would have played him in the preseason had they been worried about any rust i know he had some injury issues there towards the end with the shoulder and whatnot but i think with all that they've invested in him they they need to to know that he's going to be you know hitting on all cylinders and i think the fact that they didn't play him in the preseason means he was he was showing up well in practice so i think um that second half he's going to have a chance to hit those overs so lastly let's get to the monkey knife fight touchdown dance game so this one's a little interesting so essentially you can draft three players um to exceed the touchdown totals goal so the goal is either two and a half touchdowns three and a half touchdowns or four and a half touchdowns the more touchdowns you have the higher your multiplier but if you're wrong you're gonna you're gonna whiff on all of those (laughs) so what did you have for this one Okay, so let's see. I I do like Brady to get some stuff going on in the passing game. I think let's put in uh, let's put in Chris Godwin. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then uh, I'll also put in uh, Giovanni Bernard. I I think they brought him Ah. in for they brought him in for a role, a pass catching role on the Bucks offense. I think that's going to be pretty fun. So I'm going to go with. uh, do you, do I need the third player or no? I can you do just need stick the with third two. player. Okay, so and for you my... have to you're gonna have to choose a Cowboys player as well because <laughs> you have to choose both both teams. Yeah, for my Cowboys player, I'll go CD Lamb. I, I do think CD okay. Lamb he's the toughest guy to guard, so I'll go CD Lamb, uh, Chris Godwin, and then Giovanni Bernard is kind of a surprise one there. And which which total are you taking? Are you taking the two and a half? Let's go. Uh, let's let's go three and a half. One of those guys gets two. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah, you got to roll the dice a little bit here. So there we go. I I have uh, Mike Evans. I think he's going to be their their mm, certified yeah. red zone target. Um, I like him to get a touchdown in this game. I also have C.D. Lamb with you, and then I'm going Amari Cooper. I, I think those garbage time touchdowns are are going to come in real. I'm going on the safe side. I'm going with two and a half for the touchdown total. 
but you could absolutely be right. This could be a three and a <laughs> half, four and a half one. So um, it'll be interesting to see that play out. But that's going to do it for our over-unders for this week's first matchup of the season. Make sure to use code Triple Play to make an account, deposit, and play on Monkey Knife Fight. Sean, do you want to have a final plug before we sign off? Oh, you know me. I love plugs. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com. <laughs> Download the SGPN app wherever you get your apps. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter at Gambling Podcast. We're going to be live from the Blue Wire studio in uh, the beautiful Wynn, Las Vegas, uh, next week for NFL Week 1. Check us out over there. Streaming on all platforms. And uh, thanks for having me on, Brad. This was fun. Absolutely, Sean. You're always welcome back. Thanks for coming on. We'll see you next time.